Hey chickies! Okay, today we are doing Inspired by a Flag for the 31 Day Challenge. Now, I am half British and that's why I decided to go with the Union Jack. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. So I started off by painting my accent nail with OPI's Alpine Snow because I just love that polo so much. The blue I'm using is Ultramarine from Sea Siren Cosmetics. It's so yummy. And then the red that I'm using is Cabin Fever, also by Sea Siren Cosmetics. I'll also be using some nail striping tape. It's so cheap, you can get it on eBay. Super cheap. So I'm starting off with putting the nail striping tape on my nail. Remember to always put a good quality top coat over your base colour before placing any kind of stickers or anything like that on your nail. Uh, I have used Sesh Feet, as per usual. <laughs> Next you want to create some horizontal lines so you want to cross them over the vertical lines and this way this I mean, this is just an easier way to create evenly spaced lines. Then we're going to come in with a small detail brush not a it's just a sort of a medium small detail brush I bought it from the Winstoney store and we're going to paint Cabin Fever by Sea Siren Cosmetics in between all of those uh, nail striping tapes. Now remember to take the tape off as soon as you've finished painting, don't wait for it to dry at all. Now you'll notice that there are these gaps which we're just going to fill in with the polish and I'm not doing a great job. I'm really sorry. The, the, I mean, this is probably my least favourite many I've done in this challenge so far and which is really sad because it kind of means uh, quite a bit to me because my dad's British and if it wasn't for him I wouldn't be British too. So anyway, this is just a real challenge for me. I don't know why, I've done Union Jack before but for some reason last night when I was doing this, I just... I, mm. <laughs> so maybe just watch this um, to watch me fail rather than to watch me um, teach you anything. <laughs> that would probably be better. <laughs> Sorry. Now I probably could have used striping tape for these lines as well but that would have meant another coat of sesh feet over the top of the original uh, two red lines and then putting striping tape on over the top of that and it just would have taken me so long and I yes all right okay I'll fess up I'll, I'll put my hands up I was kind of being a little bit lazy I was really tired so this is what happens when you get really tired you just while you're doing stuff don't seem to care as much which is really sad. I do care, like I do, I really do care. <laughs> oh well. So as you can see, coming in with the blue, you've got to create these um, little triangles in between each of the red stripes. So, and good luck to you making those neat. I hope that everybody is even, I just don't think you're learning anything from this video. You might as well stop watching it right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh gosh, I'm really disappointed in this one. It looks really good from a distance. <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay, so in an attempt to try and clean up some of the mess that I have made, I've bought all of this on myself by the way, I'm coming back in with a little bit of our OPI's Alpine Snow and my fine detail brush just to try and create some straighter, nicer, neater lines but I just don't think it worked very well. Not at all. Now after waiting for all of that to completely dry I added a coat of sesh feet because I knew that sesh feet wasn't going to smudge it because you know that would have been even worse but anyway so next I came in after that was dry and added a coat of sea siren cosmetics sea matte to mattify the whole thing and that's it for this one I really hope you can forgive me <laughs> gosh if this had been the first many you probably would have stopped watching <laughs> anyway Next up is to be inspired by Supernatural. I've already got something in mind for that, so I'm really looking forward to it. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and don't give me a thumbs up. Just don't bother. <laughs>